This video will give information of how to create a bootable USB stick for creating a hacking touch machine that has no supported boot files available to boot from such as the Dell D830 so how to then create a bootable USB stick for a machine like this I'm going to show you a site and this is a very important site OSX Latitude well up here you will find boot packs for all the machines that you see in here Shuttle, Median, MSI, Lenovo, HP, Gigabyte, Dell, Asus, Acer, etc. For instance, in my case, I needed a boot pack for my Dell to, for instance, install Lion or maybe even Mavericks. And up here you can see that there are boot packs available. Here you can see the functions that will work if you install the operating systems that it supports. So as you can see here, we have two Dells. We have the Dell with the Intel 3100 card, but we should also have a Dell 830 with the NVIDIA GPU. So you must know which one of these two you are having. Okay, up here you will see that the one with the NVIDIA GPU can go up to 10.10. .10. You see that while the one with the 3100 can also install Mavericks because I installed Mavericks as a test, uh, but 10.7 and 10.6 will run the best. Up here, you can go ahead and click the, click the download and you will get to download a little zip file that you will unpack. And if you unpack it, it will look something like this, private. And in here, you will find the boot pack that will give chameleon support and these are in fact the extensions that you want and need for this machine okay so now creating a my hack for instance a bootable usb stick you will need to insert a bootable usb stick okay so um in fact, I can install a USB stick into this machine to show it to you how it works. But in fact, this is for people that already kind of know how my hack works. My hack is an app that will let you create. OSX installer, run my fix, install extra, install chameleon, etc. etc. Okay, so if you, for instance, yeah, want to create the OSX installer and you hit next, it will ask you what you would like to create. And up here you can select all the versions that you can create. You see? If you would go for installer of 10.7, you will be able to browse to it will search it will here we must select the drive where we want to drive uh, uh, select and then it will look and it will not find and then I will have to point you see browse manually okay so when you did that it will say you know create and you will just create the USB stick however when you're done because that is in fact the main thing that you must know to create this USB stick how to add the boot files and adding the boot files you will do by hitting install extra so when you created your OS X installer Okay, and the stick is done, installer successfully installed. It will also ask you if you want to create a, um, it will ask you something about the partition. Um, if you're gonna install 
Mac OS X on the machine that also runs Windows, then probably you must then choose to 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 install the MBR thing. Okay, but if you're gonna uh, install OS X as the only operating system on that particular laptop, then you don't have to install no MBR. Okay, so if you then skipped it and uh, you're done with the whole thing, because that's these are the only quest. This is the only question that uh, you will get in during the setup. After that, you will run my fix. Okay, and then you hit OK. And up here, you will select the drive. And then you hit OK. And we're just gonna wait. And then we're gonna say use my own okay and then you hit okay and up here you can then uh, strictly go to the to the folder that you had um, let's see where it is it was called private eh? private there it is private we go to private we go to boot pack and we select this folder you just select it you just select it and you hit open and then it will itself find whatever it needs but in fact i don't need to do this oh my gosh i'm spoiling up a good stick so um yeah in fact this is what you must do and then when your stick is done you will be able to boot your dell or maybe even I saw many machines out there, um, Acer, I saw HP, I think, what was it? Yeah, HP, Lenovo, Gigabyte, you know, Asus, Acer. So all these machines, they have their own boot packs. So if you cannot boot from certain DVDs and distributions that are out there, it's because you're not using the right boot pack. I hope that this video helped out a bit. Uh, if it did, of course, please like, subscribe, and hope to see you in my next video again. Thank you for watching.